So let's move on to our uh, first session for the day after the warm ups. We have uh, Mr. Rohan Shroff, who will be uh, guiding us into some yoga postures, yoga asanas. And uh, his topic is yoga for all. So uh, obviously it's geared toward different levels. Uh, so there is no experience needed for uh, most of the things that we're going to be doing today. Uh, and welcome again, everyone, if you're joining in late uh, and welcome Mr. Rohan Shroff. Rohan sir is also my teacher. I'll just put that out there. Uh, I, I studied 200 hour uh, yoga certificate training from, from him and a little bit about him. So Rohan Shroff has a combined training of more than 1,400 hours from some of the most prestigious yoga institutions and is now pursuing a master's degree in yoga from the S. Vyasa University in India, very well-known renowned university. He has taught multiple yoga teachers training courses and his favorite subject is the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. He regularly teaches Ashtanga Vinyasa, Hatha Yoga, Kriya, Pranayam, meditation and relaxation in his classes. And I can personally vouch that he is just amazing. Uh, what is yoga according to uh, Rohan sir? So yoga is everything from waking up, praying, cleansing the body, teaching, practicing, eating, relaxing, studying, learning, meditating, acknowledging and appreciating other beings and nature and loving life. Once again, welcome Rohan sir. Uh, the stage is all yours. Thank you, Zeel. Thank you for having me here. Namaste everyone. I uh, am so happy to do this on International Day of Yoga. Of course, it is on Monday, but uh, the celebrations have begun and I'm so happy to be here. So thank you uh, for having me here and uh, having all these uh, members, participants. Uh, some of them I know personally, some of them I'm meeting for the first time. Uh, good to have you all here. Uh, although I would not want to take a lot of time uh, of other teachers, so I will try to do as much as I can within the time frame that I have. So uh, understanding that uh, uh, you know you have already done some warm up. Uh, practice so that your body is warm and we can do some uh, postures. We will try to cover some uh, postures important to, you know, spine, basically spine and extremities and abdominal compression. Uh, so at least, you know, this is something that you can take away with yourself from this uh, workshop. And uh, maybe you can continue with this. If you are not able to practice daily, if you're not able to do a lot of other things, uh, you can keep doing what... Uh, uh, we can do today. So basically, just to give you a little idea, we have spinal movements, forward bend, back bend, side bends, twisting, inversion, we have uh, abdominal compression, we have uh, something called extremities for hands and legs, and then relaxation. So warm up is already done, relaxation will be done after my session. So we can try to cover at least um, all the spinal movements today. Yes, uh, let's practice then, not taking a lot of time. Uh, if you have any question, you can type in your question. I can always check. Uh, Zeel is here uh, who can help us also. She can also let me know if there's a question. Uh, but one thing I would say is do not overdo, do not force yourself. Uh, it's just uh, an introduction. So it's important that we don't force our body looking at others especially because every body is also different. So it's important that we understand how much our body is capable of doing right now, whatever we are doing. Of course, everything is very simple and basic, but still do not force yourself. Uh, you can keep yourself on mute uh, so that uh, you know everyone can listen to my instructions just in case. So if in case you have questions, please type in. Good to go, everyone. Show me your thumbs up. All right. So uh, if you can also turn on your cameras, I can see uh, it gives just, it motivates us also some you know, teachers when we look at the screen and we see people practicing uh, rather than just seeing the names over there. That would be a great motivation for us. Thank you for joining in again. 
let's start the practice then we will start with some surya namaskar sun salutations if you are not aware of the practice you can always have a look and then start uh, along with me yes so let's start zeel is it possible for you to uh, put me on spotlight uh you can just on my name you can click and make me put me on spotlight uh because i'm not sure if everyone is able to see me all right okay then everyone able to see me i think the spotlight is on anna you can uh, or zeel if you can make me the host i will do it i actually put the pin on you so no should... it will only show to you i think uh you can oh. you can just hold on on my, my uh, this thing uh, you can just make put me on spotlight i think it's done yeah i think i think it should work now uh okay or you know it can just click on the three dots on my name here yeah i did that actually for um i'm on the cell phone for this one oh, okay, so okay okay yeah okay. i i no did problem. it on the others on the other side hmm uh everyone i think i i got comments that can people me. can see you that you are okay. on the all on right. the main screen so i think we're good to go all right wonderful let's start then so surya namaskar has 12 steps in case you are not aware of the practice you can always first see the first round and then practice so the first uh, seven steps of surya namaskar uh, first five steps are repeated again at the end so five and then two steps are just ashtanga namaskar and bhujangasana rest all are repeated so you can have a look and practice let's start everyone come on top of your mat Okay, it seems like um, Rohan sir got stuck. Yeah, he got frozen. Let yeah, me. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Sorry. you're here. Something went wrong. Sorry about that. Okay, let's start. Am I audible and good to go? All right. feet together everyone engage your knees your thighs your glutes abdomen in chest up roll your shoulders back join your palms in namaste fix your gaze at a point at your eye level inhaling take your arms up and bend slightly back bend your knees and exhaling bend forward go all the way down bring your head in do not do any jerky movement slowly placing your palms by the side of your feet inhaling take your right leg back and drop your right knee to horse pose ashvashanchalanasan and look straight now exhaling take your left leg back to parvatasan mountain pose feet together now drop your knees inhaling chest and chin exhaling to ashtanga namaskar only eight body parts are touching chin chest palms knees and toes if you cannot do this just drop your whole body no problem inhaling come to cobra pose bhujangasana 
look straight shoulders are not tense push your shoulders towards your elbows exhaling again go to parvat asan mountain pose feet together inhaling bring your right foot between your palms or you can drop both the knees and then bring your right leg forward no problem look straight exhaling bring your left leg forward to forward fold keep your knees slightly bent hold your ankles and bring your head in inhaling bring your arms up and bend back exhaling prayer pose pranamasana again inhale hasta uttanasana take your arms up and bend back exhale bend forward to hasta padasana inhale take your left leg back to plank uh, to ashvashanchalanasan horse pose look straight exhaling take your right leg back to parvatasan mountain pose drop your knees inhaling exhaling chest and chin to ashtanga namaskar inhale come to cobra pose bhujangasan push your shoulders down exhale parvatasan mountain pose feet together everyone inhale left leg forward to horse pose ashvashanchalanasan look straight exhale right leg forward to padahastasan forward fold inhale take your arms up and bend back exhale prayer pose pranamasan let's do one more round inhale hasta uttanasan arms up exhale pada hastasan bend forward inhale right leg back to horse pose ashvashanchalanasan look straight exhale left leg back to parvatasan mountain pose drop your knees inhaling exhaling chest and chin to ashtanga namaskar inhale go to bhujangasan cobra pose exhale parvatasan mountain pose inhale right leg forward to ashvashanchalanasan horse pose look straight exhale left leg forward to forward fold padahastasan inhale come up to hasta uttanasan exhale prayer pose pranamasan again inhale hasta uttanasan bend back exhale pada hastasan bending your knees bend forward inhale take your left leg back to horse pose ashvashanchalanasan look straight exhale right leg back to parvatasan mountain pose inhale drop your knees on the ground exhale chest and chin to ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasan cobra pose exhale parvatasan mountain pose inhale left leg forward to ashvashanchalanasan horse pose exhale right leg forward to forward fold padahastasan inhale come up to hasta uttanasan exhale prayer pose pranamasan relax so we did two rounds half and half right is half left is half we did two rounds we can do six ideally when you have regular practice you can do maximum six or you can do more also but six is an ideal number okay so today we are just doing two rounds and let's do some other practices now so let's do a balancing posture balancing is very important balancing uh, is very good in the morning uh, first of all very good to bring some concentration so let's try some balancing uh, there are many balancing postures let's try this one it's called either we do ek padasan or we do vrikshasan ek padasan is standing on one leg and vrikshasan means tree pose there is a slight difference that i'll explain when we go into the posture so keeping your feet together bring your right foot to the root of your left thigh now if you cannot place your foot on the thigh do not place it on the knee place it on the calf it's okay but do not place it on the knee okay 
place your right foot to the root of your left thigh. Join your palm in Namaste on your sternum. Fix your gaze at a point at your eye level. This is called Ekpadasana. And taking arms above your head makes it Vrikshasana, three pose. So if you are comfortable, take your arms up. Otherwise, stay here. Let's do for 10 counts slowly. Keep breathing. Two important things in a balancing posture. Your gaze and your breathing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And first release your hands, then release your legs. Now let's do it on the left leg. So bring your left foot to the root of your right thigh. Again, if you cannot keep it on the thigh, it's okay. You can place it on the calf, but not on the knee. Knee is very delicate, so we don't want to push. Okay? Join your palms. And keep breathing. One. Two. Three. Four. If you're comfortable, you can take your arms up. Five. Six. Seven. Keep looking at one point. Eight. Nine. 10 and release, release your leg. So we did balancing. Now let's do upward stretch for the spine. So you keep one foot distance. This is how you can take distance. One foot distance inside of the feet parallel to each other. So toes are not out, toes are straight, okay? There is a coordination movement in this. So inhaling, you're going to take your arms up above your head and you will come on your toes. And then we will stay there for five counts or six counts. And then exhaling, you bring your hands down. Okay. So try to coordinate the movement of hands and feet. Let's try. Keep your hands by the side. Fix your gaze at a point. Inhale. Come in three counts. One, two, three on your toes. Keep looking straight and keep breathing. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Turn your palms and exhale. One, two, three. We can try one more time. Yes? Let's do one more time. Inhale. One, two, three. Give yourself nice upward stretch, full body stretch. Keep breathing. Stretch in your abdomen, your legs, your calves, your arms. Three, four, five, six. And exhale. One, two, three. This was upward stretch. Now let's do side bending of the spine. So we take about three feet distance to three and a half feet distance. Your heels are in one line. Turn your right foot out 90 degrees. Your left foot is perpendicular. Arms in T position. Look at your right hand. Your arms are stretched out. Pull your abdomen slightly in. Inhale. And exhaling, bend on the side. Go all the way down. Open your left arm. And look at your left palm. Side bending. Do not bend forward. Side. Push your left arm straight up, not behind. Three, four, five, six. Inhale, come back up. One, two, three. Turn your right foot in and left foot out. Now exhaling on the left. Exhale. One, two, three. Look at your right palm. Both your palms are facing forward. One, 
Keep breathing. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your posture. We did upward stretch. We did side bending. Now we do forward bend, back bend. So for forward bend, you keep your legs uh, one foot distance. Keep your hands on your waist. Inhaling chest up. I'm showing from the side. Exhale, bend forward. Place your abdomen on your thighs. You want to bend your knees slightly, it's okay. But push your body weight forward. Try to hold your big toes. If you cannot hold your toes with your index, middle finger and thumb, you can place your hands on your calf or your ankles and bring your head in. Do not force yourself as much as your body allows. Keep breathing. Two, three, four, five, six, and look up, inhaling. Place your palms on your waist. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release. Now let's do back bend. We'll do when we sit. Okay. So we'll do now a twisting posture. Take about three feet distance again. Like a windmill. We all have seen a windmill. Keep your arms in T position. Chest up, inhaling. Exhaling, bring your right palm to your left toe or ankle or calf or thigh, whatever is comfortable. Open your left arm, look up. Push your right hip behind. Don't let your right hip come up. Keep breathing. One, two, three. Keep pushing your right hip behind. Knee straight. Four, five, Six, inhale, come back to center, to up, top. Now take your left hand, exhaling to right toe or ankle or calf, whatever is comfortable. Open your right arm, look up. Push your left hip behind. Be in center. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your posture. Okay, now take about two to two and a half feet distance and turn your toes out. Join your palms in Namaste. And exhaling, squat. If you want, you can take more distance, but don't lift your heels. Push your knees out with your elbows. And breathe. One, two, three, four. Back straight, everyone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take support of your hands and slowly. Sit. Keep your legs straight. We will do forward bend one more time and then we will do back bend. Okay. So, inhaling, take your arms up, back straight. Exhale, bend forward. Try to hold your toes or your feet from outside. You can use a strap or a cloth also if you are not able to hold your toes. Exhaling, bend your elbows towards the floor and bring your head in. Stay there. Keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, come back. 
exhale release now sit in vajrasan everyone you can take both legs behind sit in vajrasan this is a very basic posture but very uh, very effective for back bending you can try doing this if in case you cannot do it let me know i will show you some other variation but i think everyone should be able to do this so sitting uh, pushing all the weight on your heels place your palms behind your feet and inhaling lift your buttocks and thighs up and stay there one Two, three, four, five, six, and exhale. Come back. We can try this one more time, everyone. I can have a look in case everyone is able to do it. Let's try one more time. Place your palms behind your feet. Inhaling. Lift your buttocks and thighs up. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing, everyone. Six. Exhale. Come back. All right. Lie down on your back, everyone. so we have covered upward stretch back bend forward bend side bend twisting now very important is abdominal compression it's very good for blood circulation in the abdomen so there are very few postures focusing only on abdominal compression there is one called pavan muktasan let's try this with one leg first so keeping your feet together toes active inhale and exhaling bring your right leg towards your chest and hold interlock your fingers keep your right toe pointing out do not lift your head or shoulders and press your thigh towards your abdomen stay there one two three four five inhale release exhale bring your left leg towards your chest go out one keep breathing two three four five inhale release now bring both legs together exhale you can hold opposite elbows or you can interlock your fingers or you can hold between your thighs and calves whatever is comfortable to you One, two, three, four, five, and inhale. Release your legs. Bend your knees. One last posture, everyone. Keep your feet close to your buttocks. Keep your feet comfortably apart. You can keep your hands under your head. keep your feet apart exhaling drop your knees to the left and look opposite look on the right 1 2 3 4 five inhale center exhaling on the other side drop your knees to the left uh, to the right and look on your left one two keep breathing three four five inhale center and release turn on one side everyone left or right take support of upper hand and sit up all right i think that is good enough yes that was great uh, wonderful but he 
has any comments i i think everybody uh enjoyed it hopefully and if you have any comments please put them in the chat if you have any questions feel free to unmute yourself uh if you have any kinds of concerns feedback yes anyone any questions don't or be any, shy any feedback I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much, Rohan. That was great. Welcome, Rupert. I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank okay. you, Rohan. It was very nice. And as it said, like yoga for all, it it made sense, yoga for all. Even the kids, older people, everybody. It was light, yet it was uh, relaxing as well as uh, you were working it out. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Needle. Thank All you right. so much. Really appreciate your time and you being here, Rohan, sir. Took me back to my yoga institute days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me, Zeel. And uh, you're doing a great, uh, great thing by spreading uh, the word, being there in the US and doing this. Uh, it's wonderful and it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. I wish you all the best to all of you and uh, keep practicing whatever form suits you, whether it is asanas, pranayam, meditation, relaxation, whatever suits you, you must practice every day. Yeah? We can Thank at least so do what much. we have learned today. Thank you for having me again. Take Thank care. You. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much.